Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom far away, a queen longed for a child. One day, her wish was granted by a kindly fairy, who promised the queen she would have a son as beautiful as the flower he was named after, Hyacinth. True to her word, the queen soon gave birth to a boy who was named Prince Hyacinth. Prince Hyacinth was indeed handsome, with bright blue eyes and golden hair. However, as the fairy had warned, he had one unusual feature. His nose was exceptionally large. Despite this, everyone in the kingdom adored him. His kind heart and cheerful disposition endeared him to all, and no one mentioned his large nose. When Prince Hyacinth turned 16, his mother, the queen, fell gravely ill. On her deathbed, she entrusted the young prince with the care of the kingdom and told him of a secret that had been kept from him. His nose was a curse. Only true love could break it. The prince was puzzled, for he had always thought his nose to be perfectly normal. The queen passed away, and Prince Hyacinth, now king, ruled wisely and kindly. However, he could not stop thinking about his mother's words. One day, he decided to set out on a journey to find true love and break the curse. Prince Hyacinth traveled far and wide, visiting many kingdoms. He met princesses and noble ladies, each more beautiful than the last, but none touched his heart. Despite their beauty, he could not feel true love for any of them. After many months, he found himself in a forest where he stumbled upon a tiny, rundown cottage. Inside the cottage lived a wise old woman who welcomed him warmly. The prince shared his story with her, and she listened carefully. To find true love, she said, you must look beyond appearances and see with your heart. She gave him a small mirror and told him to keep it close, for it would help him see the truth. The prince continued his journey and soon arrived in a beautiful garden, where he met a girl named Flora. Flora was not a princess, but she was kind, gentle, and loved nature. The prince felt an immediate connection with her, and they spent days talking and laughing together. For the first time, he felt a warmth in his heart that he had never felt before. One evening, while they were walking in the garden, Flora spoke about the beauty of the flowers and how each one was unique. Prince Hyacinth, feeling brave, showed her the mirror the old woman had given him. To his surprise, Flora's reflection showed not just her outer beauty, but also her pure and loving heart. At that moment, Prince Hyacinth realized he loved Flora truly. He confessed his feelings to her, and Flora, who had grown to love the prince for his kindness and good heart, confessed she loved him too. As they embraced, a magical light surrounded them, and the curse on the prince was lifted. His nose became perfectly proportioned, but more importantly, he felt a joy he had never known. Prince Hyacinth and Flora returned to his kingdom, where they were married in a grand celebration. The people rejoiced, for their beloved prince had found his true love. The wise old woman attended the wedding, revealing herself to be the fairy who had blessed the queen many years ago. She told the prince that true beauty comes from within and that he had learned the most important lesson of all. Prince Hyacinth and Queen Flora ruled their kingdom with love and wisdom. They were beloved by their people and lived happily ever after, knowing that true love and kindness are the greatest treasures of all.